Welcome back to a new episode here in Suave. Today, earlier today, somebody asked me how to add a box that readjusts with the text. And let me just show you real quick. There's two methods to do this. The first one, before we start, let me just mention that you can, you should check out the video of Thea, which is our transitions pack that's in the works right now. And we have a demo version that you can download for free and check the link down in the description. Um, yeah, all right, let's get going again. Let's try to make this under five minutes because it should be under two minutes. Let's do this. So first of all, we're gonna write our text here. So once you have your text, all that you have to do for the first way of doing it is you have to go here to the shading section and then select an element number two. You can choose whatever you want because these are all free, ele like empty elements, I guess you could say. Um, and then you're going to enable it. Then under properties, you want to select border fill and it will show it this weird letter by letter type of thing, right? It's a character. So then the next thing that you need to do is you can also change the, comp the blending mode, but it doesn't really matter that much. You have to go here and you choose either text or word or line. It doesn't really matter. You can play around with it. And that would basically make it. I like to use word because that leaves a little bit of space around. If you use text, it goes right on the edge and then you have to play around with these extend vertical and horizontal tabs right here. So let's just use word for now. Then if you want to animate the background in itself, you can add more things, play around with these settings. You can play around with these, like for example, just make it go like out like that, um, or make it come forward and then to the back. So that's basically the simple version, because then when you go here, you can write down um, out to scale box. That's basically it. I used to do it in After Effects a lot, and it's a lot, it's sort of like simpler in After Effects in a way that you just use an expression and you're able to link a completely different element. So then that it's a little bit more, I guess you could say free, because this box, it's limited what you can do because it's really connected within this text. The other method is by using a background node and then having a mask on it and then connecting it here. But the only problem is that I've tried using expressions here and wrote a bunch of different expressions that I found around and none of them really worked. I tried connecting these to the different text um, sections here, options, and it was not I was not able to figure that one out. Then I found a forum. Let me just show you right here. Um, I found this forum that has supposedly a way that you can do this. I tried it a little bit, but I was not able to... I was not able to make it work for myself for some reason. I will continue trying in the future. But if you want to check that one out, I will leave this link in the description also so that you can check it out and try it out and see if you're able to figure out. And if you do, please let me know what you did because I'm trying to figure this one out too. And I don't know, it looked a little bit like rocket science with all these language here, which is called Lua language, I think, uh, or L-U-A, I don't know the meaning behind it but yeah anyways so that's basically the two ways that you can create an out of scale box well more like one way that you can do it because the other one i was not able to figure out but hopefully in the future or you will and will let me know or i will and i will let you know too if i do so so let's just recap once again real quick you go to text shading Add a new element here and it enable it choose the appearance you can play around with these two um, that's a cool one too here and then you choose the level to choose whichever you want to try with and then you can play around with these little things too you can add sausage make it sausage text and all that uh, and then you can play around with the positions and more things so yeah I hope hopefully this video this quick video was useful for you and Hopefully you can use it whenever you're creating a title or using text in your videos. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you learned something that you can use in the future. See you next time in the next video here in Suave.